In a small fishing village by the sea, there lives a curious young boy named Ali. Ali loved to play by the shore and collect seashells, but he was always fascinated by the way objects moved in the water. One day while he was playing with his toy boat, he wondered why some things floated while others sank to the bottom of the ocean. To find out the answer, Ali decided to conduct an experiment. He along his friends went to the beach and collected some objects from the sand such as a rock a feather a stick and a piece of pencil then he went to the shallow water and dropped each item into the sea one by one the rock sank straight to the bottom while the feather floated on the surface the stick stayed in the middle and the pencil floated too ali was amazed How different objects behave differently in the water the rock sank straight to the bottom while the feather floated on the surface the stick stayed in the middle and the pencil floated too ali explained to his friends wow why did that happen one of his friends asked ali thought for a moment before responding I think it has to do with the weight and size of the objects. Just then another friend picked up a small rock and dropped it into the water. To their surprise the rock floated. How did that happen? asked a friend. Well, I think the size of the rock matters too. This rock has less mass than the other one which is why it floats, Ali replied. His friends were amazed at Ali's experiment. and they wanted to try it too they ran to the shore to collect their own objects and conducted their experiments ali happily shared his materials with his friends and they continued to learn about buoyancy and how size and shape can affect the floating and sinking properties of objects ali selected two small pebbles they were seeming identical in weight but different in size and shape He dropped both of the pebbles and observed. To his surprise, pebble with greater surface area floated. He realized that object will float if it displaces an amount of water equal to its own weight. The pebble that floated had a greater volume and therefore displaced more water than the pebble that sank, even though they had the same weight. Pebble with smaller in shape sank straight to the bottom of ocean because it displaced less water. As they continued to experiment, he picked up a ball and a long cylindrical tube and dropped them both into the water. The ball sank but the tube floated. Hey guys, check this out. The tube floated but the ball sank. I think the shape of an object affects its buoyancy. Ali exclaimed His friends looked at each other amazed at what they were learning they continued to experiment and learn about the wonderful world of science Finally Ali came up with a rule The shape of an object affects its buoyancy objects with a greater surface area relative to their weight are more likely to float while objects with a smaller surface area are more likely to sink His friends looked at each other amazed at what they were learning they continued to experiment and learn about the wonderful world of science from that day on ali and his friends spent their days by the sea experimenting and learning they realized that science was all around them waiting to be discovered and explored